What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, Energy Healing Tarot 123. It's your girl, Empress Jim, here to drop some jewels. I got the weekly vibes for the collective. So, guys, I just want to say thank you for all your support. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Continue to do so. I appreciate it. Feel me. Follow me over on the social media platforms. And again, looking for a personal or just shopping for anything for your spiritual journey, go ahead and check us out on MNMenergy.com. Details in the description box below. Guys, don't forget, I'm also doing a 200 subscriber giveaway. You'll see all of that stuff on the weekend vibe for 1010. So get down with that. Without further ado, let's get into it. So, guys, this message for this week and the monthlies I'll drop will focus on the Mercury retrograde we have coming up. Um, for some strange reason, when I was prepping the decks for the collective for the weekly, I felt implied to actually do these where we get some reversals possible and i typically don't so yeah we're gonna do that shuffle on camera on scene and we're gonna see what's going on you know we're gonna take a look into the energy for this week i did pick up in the meditative shuffle about a lot of you guys some folks are going to want to go on herman mode after uh, what transpires during retrograde, especially at the start of it. Um, so the weekend vibe might have to drop on Friday simply because I was picking up the 18th, which I thought was Friday, but it's really Saturday, which is when I usually do the weekend vibe. So, yeah. But I was picking up um, either you got some sick people, people are going to find out that folks are sick. You're going to be receiving phone calls about sick loved ones or people who are just, you know, people that are sick. Could be whether this person is good or bad to you. Some of you guys, there's going to be some job changes this week, okay? Needing to take on, like, new positions or shit could just be going down with your job, period. Feel me? Um, I do see, like, communication coming in. A lot of shocking communication that's going to cause, like, changes in your life. Um, for some of you guys, the change, some of you might be losing your job only to gain a better job. Okay, um, don't worry. The universe has a plan. Um, yeah, the universe has a plan. That's just what I'm hearing. Just communication, truly. You know, Mercury is Gemini Virgo energy. That's communication. You know, your thought process, your thought pattern, but mostly communication here. So, like I said, the conversations, the communication that are going to come in is going to be a little bit hard to swallow, but... Yeah, there's that hermit energy. A lot of you guys are going to want to go within yourself. Like, you're going to want to go want to go within yourself. Or you're going to need to take a break. Some of you are going to need to take a break with the things that you hear. I'm hearing um, backlash. Backlash. Some folks are going to do some things that they might regret. Um, be mindful, guys. Be very, very mindful this week. You know, the next few weeks, actually. But I'm just feeling heavy this week. I do see something big trying to transpire by this weekend. It's like like this retrograde is ready to pop off. Like it's already been popping off in the retro shade, but I feel like it really, really wants to just like pop off. You know what I'm saying? So let's pull these energies here. Um, starting off with the lessons for this week, we got denial under the deck. So yeah somebody is and that's what i'm saying is hermit you might hear some shit that just like really might you might go into now you might be so shocked can't believe that this is happening can't believe this is being said um you guys could also be delivering this information or a message to somebody and they can't believe that you're saying this or can't believe that you're doing this like a company can't believe that you're quitting you know shit like that so what's the message of spirit for the collective we thank you because it's collective energy will take all that drops. So yeah, abundance. This is this is the week of focusing on abundance. You know, a lot of you guys, your abundance can you can be, you know, reaping abundance or you could be losing things. It depends on, you know, how you're flowing, especially with all the transits taking place. We know karma is a big thing that's going down. So, but it's about abundance either way this week. Gaining, either you're gaining your lessons or your blessings. That's what I'm hearing. You gaining a lesson or you gaining a blessing, okay? First card out is patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. Um, temperance energy here for me, Sagittarius type energy here. But nonetheless, that's what I'm saying. It's like karma is playing out. So 
it, 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 it's like I'm picking up that Virgo energy of wait and see for their love reading. But it's like you're that's literally, you know, being patient. A lot of you guys have been patient enough with people. Um, I did. I do recall seeing the Knight of Pentacles. So a lot of you guys, it's been taking you a while to come forward with like these offers or making a decision on something here. Um, yeah, death. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. Yeah, something is over. Finally closing out complete cycles. People who are trying to come back because of the retrograde energy. A lot of you guys have grounded yourself out. Like I said, you could be you're delivering some bad news to somebody, making somebody else go on Herman mode or whatever. Yeah, perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. Very determined, you know, following your intuition, keeping that third eye open. You know, again, staying grounded, you know, especially with that death and abundance energy, all that red. You know, really staying grounded, following your gut here with that patience, okay? Forgiveness. Um, I, I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. Yeah, forgiving, but not forgetting. That's why it's over. You forgave and you cut it out. But, you know, you knew that forgiving was something that you had to do so that you don't block your own creativity. You forgive them. Yeah, whatever. That's on you. You know, karma will get you. But you're not forgetting. Hence why you're ending shit, because you've had enough. I mean, you're focused on abundance. There is some worry around here. I'm learning that worry does not change an outcome. Somebody could also be worried here. I'm picking up that you won't forgive them for the things that they're going to say or the things that you're going to find out about people this week. People are worried that you're not going to forgive them because I feel like what they've done is like unbearable, like probably could have killed somebody, you know, um, wanted to have someone killed, wish death on someone, then patiently waiting for somebody to die, been working hard on, you know, killing someone, killing someone's spirit, I'm hearing, okay? And I feel like, you know, this information could be coming out and now somebody's worried about, you know, receiving forgiveness for somebody, you know, that they didn't mean to hurt or they didn't mean to find out this information. So let's see. But either way, we got abundance on the table. Whatever is being cleared out, whatever is being debted, it's abundance is on the table. Just wait. Like, let's be patient. We're going to wait and see. Um, Keep your cool, I'm hearing. Um, Don't sign any contracts. Don't get caught up in no, no nothing. Like, if you're unsure, just... If you can wait until after retrograde to really make a decision, then do that. Like, if you really feel unsure about stuff, okay? And I say that, and as I'm saying that, like, I'm saying, <laughs> Jess, this is personal advice, too, okay? So, yeah, if you're really unsure, wait till after retrograde, you know, or whatever, because we all know that things come back and pop up in your life around this time. May not be for the best, okay? Um, if you're really, really unsure, you know, wait. Wait, if you can wait, then do so, but don't jump into any like true new situations or contracts right now because it's the patience, you need to be patient. So, we're gonna pull our spread. I'm actually feeling a full out here, guys. So, we're gonna get all 10 cards out here. So, main energy for the month, what you know about this energy, what the universe has in store, and what to tell you about this energy. What led up to this, what is trying to drive this forward, where you guys are, how you're looking and sitting right now, how the world is seeing you. Hopes and fears in our outcome, okay? Underneath the deck, we have fertility here. Empress energy, Libra Taurus energy, Libra season as we're in. That's what I'm saying, Libra season ends out this weekend and we get ready to go over into Scorpio season. So that's what I'm saying, the um, weekend might have to drop on Friday. But this is a new beginning. This is a being abundant. This is being fertile. This is being the top of the game. This is having your shit together. Okay. This is being abundant. All right. This is abundance in itself here. Okay. Yeah. What positive movement forward and move, going towards being abundant. Okay. Yeah. This is abundance is on the table. This is about abundance. This is about going towards abundance. A lot of you guys, this definitely is about your finances. This could be job, like definitely job related, of course, you know, finances or, you know, your own personal businesses, things of that nature. OK, it's time to end something in your life so that you can be abundant moving forward here. So before we even get it shaken, yeah, we got five of pentacles under here, which is worry, 
again, somebody's worried, worry about feeling at a lack or being at a lack, possibly even if you're switching jobs, okay? Because some of you, I feel, probably had, you know, a job opportunity on a table probably even before retrograde, but you've let it linger so long, trying to be patient with it and see, you know, what you need to transform in your life. You could be also trying to fight through um, your current situation instead of, you know, giving into a new opportunity that could have been presented to you now. And now it's just like maybe you want to go towards this new opportunity, but you're worried, you know, if you're too late. But um, that's lack mentality. Reach out, find out. Um, the rebel deck is starting you off with telling you that you need a good fucking cry. Fuck, you need your people around. So go talk to your folks, people that you trust, you know. Um, yeah, especially about making these decisions here, okay? So... Main energy for this week is, yeah, lack of success here. Not feeling successful, not being as grounded as you need to be here, okay? Not being as nurturing and kind and loving to yourself here. Or someone around you doesn't want to see you triumphant at all this week, okay? Yeah, it's like you want to go off and take a new leap of faith here. And somebody doesn't want to see you do that, to be honest with this full car coming out and this princess of wands it's like you want to go after your passions and your desires here um be more in control of your life very fiery very passionate really want to go for this um aries type energy here yeah and change your fortune but it's like somebody else is trying to change your fortune exactly somebody is trying to cause a blockage and change your fortune here they don't want to see you succeed and it's like that's what you're trying to do this week and it's like this retrograde Somebody, people are coming in to stop your success or to see if they can delay you. They've been watching and waiting and waiting to come back. And this is definitely past people energy or whatever, or just, you know, folks who just, you should have left in the past. Okay. What you know about this energy is, yeah, you didn't want to let this go. Um, tower in reverse here. You didn't want to shake this up. You didn't want to drop this foundation. You didn't want to let this go here. Okay. And spirit is saying, like, like I said, these are past people. Yeah, this is past energy that you should have been cut the cords on. You should have been cut the cords on this energy. You should have. You should have been able to clearly see here. And I feel like you essentially knew that you shouldn't have been, you know, given into this energy. Let me get that card. Yeah, you shouldn't have given into this energy because <clears throat> you have the four cups in reverse. And I mean, I like taking this card up for its face value because it's luxury. These are like options that are luxury of, you know, wants and desires, things that we want. But in reverse, you knew essentially that this was not a luxurious choice. It wasn't something that you really should have been dealing with or whatever. But again, you couldn't let it go. And now it's judgment. Judgment is here. And I feel like it's going to flip that tower regardless. Mercury retrograde is going to flip this. And you're going to see that you have to cut out this energy here. Yeah, because it's not successful. They don't want to see you be successful. They're not trying to help you be successful here. Okay, they're trying to block your riches, block your abundance, okay? Just block you in general here. It's time for you to see that. And I feel like you know that it's time for you to see that you have energy around you that's trying to block, you know, your options, you know, your your money, your heart space, your relationships, whatever. You just got people, places, and things around you that are trying to block you and change your fate, change your fortune, change your luck. What the universe wants you to see about this is... Yeah, heartache and loss. You don't need to hurt over this. You don't need to hurt over these people, okay? You don't need to hurt over these people at all. Yeah, these people are in a lack mentality. They want you to feel like that. They want you to come in and save them, okay? Yeah, you need to block anything that these people have to offer you and go after decisions and choices that are best for you here, okay? Yeah, these people with this five of pentacles, they're in a lack situation here. They're worried. Like I said, you don't need to feel any way. The universe is saying is you don't need to feel any type of heartbreak from disconnecting from these individuals, from these people, places, or things, from this energy, okay? They want you to come in, okay? And they want you to come in quickly here and give them all your time and effort, all right? They want you to bleed yourself dry until you have nothing left, okay? Until you're blue in the face, Come and talk to them and like whatever, whatever, until you're blue in the face, okay? All this blue, all this blue. 
It's like they want to see you down. They want to make you feel like they want you to keep giving, giving, giving to them. But I see here that you have a new passionate beginning here. Something that ignites your soul, something that you want to do, something that is going to lead to this abundance here, okay? This is that, that fertile idea. This is what the Empress is harboring inside of her, this new passionate beginning here. You need to make that decision to go towards this here, okay? This could be a relationship. This could be a job, okay? This could be your own business. This could just be you caring for yourself here, choosing to love on yourself here with that lover's energy. But nonetheless... Aries type here with this king of wands, all right, but fiery, passionate energy. This is fire and passion here, okay? You need to put the fire under your ass and keep it moving and keep doing what you got to do. You've been patient this long, yo, like it's here for you. It's time for you to truly end, have the strength to end things with this past situation, past dynamics. People who keep trying to come back in and sway your mind, sway your vision. I feel like, you know, initially. You know, with this princess of this, what it is that you want and what you want to take on, what it is that you want offered to you and what it is that you want to offer to people. But again, you're allowing, you know, this slight confusion to come into play. You're allowing, you know, you're allowing whoever this is. It could be a cancer energy, honestly, guys, or an Aries energy. I'm, I usually don't want to call out signs in this collective type thing. But I just feel like these are like strong energies that, you know, you might be dealing with. Definitely a Cancerian type energy. Or this could have took place back in Cancer season, end of June, top of July, where this energy entered your life, okay? And it's like you just cannot shake them. You cannot let them go. But the thing is, is it's time. It's time now because they're coming around to try to block you from your abundance, cause confusion, you know, that denial, make you feel like you can't be abundant, like you can't move forward, like you need them. You don't need them. They need you. That's what the universe is trying to show you is they feel out of lack and they need you. They need you to come in and make an offer to them. They need you to come in and be around them. They need you because you have, as they say, you have such good energy. I love your energy. They need you for your energy. Okay. How we get here, you didn't want to work with this from the jump. And guys, we know all these cards aren't in reverse because that fertility is upright and so is the positive movement. So these are meant to come out how they're coming out. We watched me shuffle pretty damn good. So you didn't want to work with them. You knew from the jump that you didn't want to work with them, okay? I feel like you tried to tell the energy, person, place, a thing, whatever, relationship, job, don't matter. Um, you tried to tell them that you didn't want to work with them, but they weren't picking up what you were putting down. And I feel like this energy just did not give up. Like, they did not give up. They stuck around. They lingered around. I feel like because it's lingering energy in your field that it is blocking you. It's causing a blockage. We had a flipper. I saw it, guys. Let me get it. Let me find the flipper. We had one. There we go. Yeah, like I said, this could be somebody who wanted to come in. They wanted to work with you. They needed you to come and work with them. Okay, definitely up about money. Okay, so somebody could have wanted a loan from you. You was like, no, I'm not loaning you shit. You don't pay people back. Or, you know, you could have went for a loan and you got denied and kind of find out. It's like the bank you went to got your enemies, home people, or home folks up in there. You feel what I'm saying? And they just did something to finagle and mess up your ability to have your loan, shit like that. But you just had energy around you that you initially just did not want to work with anyway when it came to your finances. Like you already felt like that partnership was not going to be there, was not going to be solid. You already felt like you couldn't trust it, okay? Exactly. You already felt like you couldn't trust it. You're not stressed out about it enough already, all right? You, you just know, like you just knew. You felt it in your heart of hearts that it was time to let that energy go, close off that cycle. You didn't want to deal with it anymore. But I feel like that's what's coming back and trying to revisit you this week with Mercury Retrograde here. Yeah, you're trying to get away from any deception or envy. You're not, you don't want to deal with this anymore. None of that slick talk, none of them gossips, none of that rumor. You're not trying to deal with none of that. You're trying to get away from that type of energy. Mm -hmm. Especially with that ten of, bur um, ten of burdens. Yeah, oppression. 
especially with this Ten of Wands coming out. You knew it was a burden. You knew that it was going to cause you nothing but burdens. You knew it wasn't going to help you get where you wanted to go. You knew it was not igniting your fire. You knew it was not something that you naturally really wanted to do here. And that was the truth. I feel like you told this person or these people or this energy or whatever the circumstances, you told them that, look, this is too much of a burden for me. I don't really see the victory in this. You know, I'm feeling good in what I'm doing, where I'm at now. I have other plans for my life, for myself. I have something for me that I want to do for me. And I feel like this person it was just like, no, like they kept coming back, kept having something to say, could not understand, could not pick up what you were putting down, still trying to cause a blockage for you. You get what I'm saying? Still trying to make you decide, even though I feel like you naturally gave them an option, a decision here. You want to, you're focused on your own bag. And like I said, this could be about a job wanting to approach you, but you're already sitting in this energy and it's like, look. I am already sitting in my bag. I'm already the queen of pentacles. I'm working on going towards being the empress. Like my empress energy is kicking in, but it's like, I just have to, you know, continue to go through the changes and, you know, really cut out energy here so I can really focus on getting to this empress energy here. Okay. To that true abundance that I'm working on, you know, in all areas and aspects of my life. I feel that, you know, there is literally somebody who is still trying, who's trying to play a mind game, who's trying to you know, woe is me, pity party, oh, but, 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 and I need, I need, I need, and you can, you can, you can. You don't need that in your life collective, not right now, not during these times, especially if you're getting on your A game. You don't need somebody to come back and snatch you back down, okay? Especially if you've been trying to, I feel like for a lot of you guys, you've been trying to tell folks what's going on in your life. You've been trying to give advice and help people out well so that they can move forward and do the things that they need to do. You've been keying them on, and I don't feel like you've been stringing people along. You've been being a hundred, okay? Especially with that Ace of Ace of Swords right there. Like you've been being 100 and just telling the truth. You ain't out here lying. You ain't lying to nobody. You told them that you ain't want to work with them. It stressed you out. This is not a partnership. This is not a deal. This is not something. This is not a place you want to move into. You know, this is not a job you want. This is not a relationship you want. You don't want no friends with benefits. Feel me? Like, you don't want to change your location. You don't want to move. You don't want to do this. You're fine where you are. You're working on where you're at. Because you know that there is triumph and success in what it is that you're doing. But the people around you don't want to see that happen. They want to change that. They want to change that on you, okay? You need to release these people. The people that you don't want to release, you need to let their ass go because they're not going to be in the luxury in your life. They're not going to be a good look. They're not going to be a good option, all right? How you are, you're not in harmony right now. You're not making the best decisions for yourself, okay? You're not feeling like you're going to make the best decisions. And honestly, when... The universe is telling you not to be hurt and that you, you got this. This is the Geminis. This is the lovers. You got this upright from the universe telling you that you need to make best decisions and not be heartbroken. Right now, it's in reverse, which means you're not making the best decisions. You're allowing this energy to infiltrate into... Ooh, yes. You're allowing this energy to infiltrate into your soul, into your spirit, and making you feel some kind of way. That's why you're not feeling as triumphant right now. You're a little worried about... Yeah, you're scared. You're a little worried. You're all up in your emotions. You're all up in your head. And yeah, and now you won't make any moves towards this toxic energy. <laughs> you won't make any moves towards this toxic energy, okay? Moon card here, Pisces energy, all right? We'll give you the signs. I'll give it to you guys. But you're not making any moves here, okay? You're falling out of love, out of the path. You're like you're letting the spark die on what it is that you have your heart set on, on your secret passions, on your desires here, Okay. A lot of you guys are afraid to make moves on this energy. Could be a Capricorn here, but it's low vibe energy. You're afraid. It's like they got to bind to you, like they're, you're bound to them, okay? Probably need to do some cord cutting, feel me? You might have to. Keep in mind, we also got a new moon coming up. So, yes, yes we got new moon energy coming up this week as well, guys. So, especially with the moon. You need to make a decision here to cut cords with this energy here and manifest this new abundance in your life that you're moving towards here, okay? Seriously, you need to communicate to them that you don't want to invest in them. You need to say that and say it again and say it again and say it again. It's a failure for you. You, it's, it's a no. It's a no. Just tell them, it's a no for me. It's a no. I'm all, I'm, I'm, I'm all right. Like, I don't want it. I'm stable where I'm at. Like, and at this point, I feel like for a lot of you guys, especially when I'm thinking back to that denial, I feel like you've said it so many times that they're not getting it, that you don't even, don't even explain yourself. Just say no. Okay. Like, just say no. Go ahead. Yeah. Especially go in into this low vibe energy and tell them it's not going to work. No. 
Like, you need to make the best decision for yourself right now, okay? You do, because you're sitting in, they're, they're keeping you in a low-vibing energy with you not being able to make a decision. You're blocking your true success here. Granted, you don't want to deal with it. You're not up into the deception and envy here. You're trying to get away from it. But the more you don't speak up, and you just really, like, dead that shit, they're going to hold you down into this space, okay? Yeah, you need to walk away. Emotionally walk away from this individual, this person, place, thing, whatever this is, this offer. Walk away from it, okay? Because how the world is viewing you is trapped in fear. Unsure, don't know what you want, okay? And it show, it's, it's showing, okay? It's showing because you're not in harmony with yourself. You're not harmonious with yourself, okay? So it's showing, it's showing. They, yeah, you're trapped. You don't know what you want to make you happy, Okay? You're stuck with, uh, with, in this conflict with this, 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 this deceit, okay? This deceit and envy here, what you're trying to move away from, what you don't want to go towards, okay? But people see that you're stuck when it comes to your happiness here because you're allowing it to infiltrate your space just a little bit, just enough. It's causing this blockage, okay? The blockage is there. And they're stopping you from being success. It's time for you to speak up and end this burden in your life, okay? Your hopes and fears is to not fall for the devil, you hoping that it can go away. You're fearing the devil. You're fearing the temptation. You're fearing the confusion. You're fearing going back and forth with yourself about whether or not you even want to confront this energy. Okay? You're not even, you don't even want to really deal with this energy. You just wish it would just evaporate and go away. But that's denial. And denial ain't nothing but a river, baby. Okay? The denial ain't nothing but the river. Where was that? Yeah, you're really afraid of this devil here. Like, you're really, really afraid. You really need to make a truth. Spirit, what's the message here on this temptation? Mm -hmm. But you're afraid. You're afraid of being tempted out of what it is that you're doing. You're afraid of being swayed. You're afraid of allowing somebody to come and throw their pity party on you. Yeah, but it's not for you. It's not a, it's, this is not a bond for you. It's not harmonious. It's not going to make you happy. It's not going to fill your heart space at all, okay? You do need to just close out and complete this cycle, okay? You're very stable on your own and what you have, okay? Yeah, there is no love there, truly. This is, I'm not even taking this as like, with this two of cups in reverse, there is no love there. It's not going to fulfill you, okay? You need to let this go. You got to let it go. What's the outcome for this week for my lovely people? Patience and planning. Just stay patient. Like I said, don't sign anything. You know, wait. Because I feel like they're going to, um, whoever or whatever this is, is they're going to show their ass first. And they're going to give you a reason to really just end this shit. So you have to wait. Be patient, okay? And then they're going to need your forgiveness. And that's what I'm saying. This worry. This worry is this other energy here. What is this? Be patient and plan. Okay, that wealth is coming. You got to let the tower moment happen, guys. Okay, I want more energy on this. But you got to let this tower moment happen here. Yeah, when you cut their ass out, they'll be stuck. You're going to leave them a hangman energy. That's what I'm saying. I'm energy vampires. <laughs> I'm getting energy vampire galore. Okay. People who just need, they know that they need you. They can't do without you here. These are folks who need you. And honestly, I feel like these energies will probably abuse the shit out of you. They will abuse you no matter how or what that is. They will abuse you. You really need to have the strength here. And we know traditionally in this car, he, his back is turned, but we have virtue. Okay? You need to have the strength to have better for yourself here. Okay? Know that better is coming in. All right? Get on that liger. <laughs> Um, and grab life by the balls, you know, and ride that motherfucker till the wheels fall off. But know that something is better coming for you. That ten of wealth, which you're patiently planning to get to. You have to keep working. Three pentacles left between that. You need to keep working on what it is that you want to do for yourself. Turning your back on whatever drama and bullshit. Knowing that something better is coming in, okay? Split in the opposition and going for your direct passion here, okay? Whatever it is that somebody is trying to offer you. You need to make a truce with that. You need to lay that to rest the peace. See, that same pinnacle, the small pinnacle that she's holding is right here in the middle. You need to c cut that shit out. You don't want nothing that this person has to offer. They come in with you, coming to you with crumbs, okay? You're going towards ten pinnacles. 
All right. You already showed up as the queen of pentacles. We see you as the queen of pentacles already show up underneath. Not wanting any more deception and envy because you know your queen of pentacles already. So don't let this person come in with this and try to sway your judgment and sway everything that you've been doing and all your hard work and efforts and make it seem like you're not big timer. You're not big dog. You're not top shit when you are. You need to persevere, have more security in yourself, and don't allow someone to come in and change judgment on the hard things that you've been working on, on your hard efforts here, okay? Yes, and like I said, this is past energy. Mercury retrograde, we know we bring them out, all right? So, let's get uh, some moon allergy. I think that's relevant. Nothing will come of this situation. Void, of course, moon. But, yeah, nothing will come of this. If you go and you engage with this, you will lose out. Nothing will come of it as far as you're concerned. You're going to be probably in a more miserable, stuck place. Just not as well, okay? Nothing good will come of this. You already know this in the past. So, Spirit, we thank you for this message. Let's close out. It's the message for the collective for the rest of the week. Okay. Underneath the deck. It says, don't let pride get in your way. Full moon and Leo, okay? And that's what I said with all this fiery energy. Don't let pride get in the way. Don't let somebody else's pride and ego fuck you up either. That had to come out that way. But don't let pride get in your way. And it necessarily does not have to be your pride. This could be the pride of this individual who, who feels like you owe them. You owe nobody shit. Honestly, as a woman of color, as a black woman, okay, what I tell folks is the only things I got to do in life is stay black, pay my taxes, and die. Aside from that, shit. If I knew I wouldn't get Wesley sniped, then I wouldn't pay them damn taxes either, okay? But as far as I'm concerned, that's all I got to do. You ain't got to do shit else nobody is trying to tell you or make you do. Bro, you your own person. It's between you and the most high. That's it, bro. Like, that's it. You ain't got to do shit nobody else wants you to do. They need to figure that out. Okay, expect a powerful change. New moon eclipse. We got eclipses taking place in November and December. So definitely expect big changes to take place. Okay, communication is key. Like I said, you guys need to speak up. New moon in Gemini. Gemini is a ruler of Mercury. This retrograde, speak your peace. Move the fuck on. Okay, a personal issue reaches resolution. Full moon in Cancer. Like I said, with that triumph energy, both in reverse. Okay. This could have took place back in the end of June, top of July, cancer season, okay? But there's a resolution that's going to finally reach to this issue that has popped up in your life since over the summer, okay? What do you need to release? You need to release this shit, okay? And I'm, that's, I heard that. You need to release this shit. Whatever the fuck is not, doesn't want to see you successful, this triumph, this cancerian energy, you know, this, um, it could be a mother, okay? I just heard a mother, a mothering energy, you know? Baby mama drama. Let that shit go. Anybody who came in and tried to make offers to you during cancer season that are still on the table, you need to let that go. Okay? At the end of the day, a one will outcome is in the forecast. Formal and Libra. We are still in Libra season. That's why I said something is taking place on Saturday. You will not lose. And understand that your, co your commitment is being tested. It could be your commitment to your current job, your current beliefs, your current relationship, anything. But whatever is coming around is, is testing you. You can win if you know to release this, okay? You can win. Don't let your pride get in the way. Don't let their pride get in the way. Don't. So, Spirit, final messages here for our collective. Final messages for the collective. Final messages for the collective. Ah, I just don't want y'all to fall like that. So, yeah, it says, fuck, shit is about to get real, okay? Get the ugly crying on, let that shit go. Your soul will thank you. You will win. <laughs> okay, let's just pick them up as we see them. So, Ste uh, step away from the crazy making diet for a hot second. Kale and spirulina taste like ass. Eat some yummy shit. Bacon, chocolate, beer. Get some. Yeah. Okay. So a lot of you guys have been overdoing it, especially with your health. Okay. Take a step back. All right. Um, believe it or not, the healthiest people can still get sick. I'll 
as as a nurse, somebody in the medical field, I read all type of articles and everything. From the healthiest people who never smoke or drink a day in their life, they drink their grain juice every day, exercise every day, run, walk, whatever, still can get up and drop dead, okay? You're overworking, you're overdoing yourself. Cut the shit, okay? Enjoy that fucking beer, have that piece of chocolate, chocolate, eat that bacon, because I'm about to say um, that piece of chicken, okay? Eat that fried chicken, it's all good. You good to have one day. Enjoy one day for yourself. Treat yourself. Don't cheat yourself. So, yeah, some good shit is about to happen. Don't let your issues fuck it up. <laughs> Enough said, okay? And I feel like that has a lot to do with, you know, you clearing out these energies in your life, which is drawing me to this next card. Be grateful. Shit could be so much worse, okay? So, mm-hmm. Shit is going down with your job. What'd I say? Reevaluate, change your perspective, or fucking quit. This could have to do with your job, okay, like I said, or somebody trying to offer you a new job. Think about it. Don't sign no new shit, especially, like I said, if it's been sitting on the table. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Uh-uh, uh-uh. That project, that person, that idea is waiting. Get after that shit. The world has your back. Go after what it is that you want to do. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Don't go back and get into this partnership when you knew it wasn't going to be beneficial. You knew it was stressing you out already from the jump. Don't go back into that. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Okay, shame, regret, and guilt. Those are just bullshit. Forgive. Let that shit go. Forgiveness is a thing. Okay, you forget, forgive it. Whatever. And, and say if you tell some, you turn somebody down and they talk hella shit, and they try to you know blackball you or try to spread rumors and gossip and try to make you feel bad. That pride that they got. Okay, whatever. Forgive them and move the fuck on. That's how they feel. They're bitter and they're upset. Don't hold on to that resentment. It's not going to help you with your abundance in the long run, okay? You got a feeling you just can't shake. That little voice inside you, listen to that shit. Your intuition is going to be big this week, okay? Again, Mercury Retrograde. We know who coming back and we know essentially why they're coming back. Your commitment is being tested. Follow your intuition. All this purple energy, guys. That's third eye crown chakra. Follow your intuition, okay? Persevere through whatever the f is going on. And ask a fucking expert. Don't rely on your friends on the internet. Listen to a damn professional, okay? And maybe that is getting you up to a personal reading or, you know, even if you have a therapist, you know, or a financial advisor, I'm hearing for some of you guys, and, you know, making big purchases or whatever. Ground yourself either way, okay? Somebody that you know is more skilled in this area or who can help you, um, I'm also hearing, like, um, for certain things, don't go to friends or family, like, people who are very close to you. Um, go to, like, somebody that you trust enough or just, like, a random outside third party and just present the situation to them and see what they would do because your friends or family will be more emotionally attached. So, yes, Collective, that has been the message for this week to start off our Mercury Retrograde truly which kicks off on the 13th um yeah i actually might take a break we'll see how retrograde kicks my ass okay as a gemini but um yeah this has been you guys' message i know you know what to do with this information again if you need a personal guys go ahead and book with me over on the website you can even go and check out twitter you know because there's paypal links i take cash app all that but again information is listed below in the detailed description box mmenergy.com Holla at your girl. Deuces.